All right, welcome back. So now we're gonna put the first layer of true oil on. So here you go, Isaac, here's the rag. Go ahead, stand on this side. So all you're gonna do is take this. So what you wanna do is take your rag, just kind of roll it up into a ball, roll it upon itself, and then just kind of make like a little, little pad. And then you're just gonna rub that around. So just go ahead and squeeze that right there. And then we're gonna do this. Wow, this thing is like getting solid because I had it upside down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So here's the first couple of drops. And yeah, we got a bug on there already. Awesome. It's stuck too. All right. Go ahead and start rubbing that in. All right. Let me get this bug out of here. So just keep rolling it around. All right, so this first layer we're going to go pretty thick because this is this is going to soak it up pretty good. Yep, so just kind of spread it around. You can even you know, even spread some around. So this will give you a real good idea of what this thing is, all the detail in this wood. And then one of the things about true oil is that this thing reveal for those of you who who haven't used it before, you'll find out. But for those of you who have I mean, have not, this thing reveals every, every flaw in the piece of wood. Wow. Okay, let me put some more on. And this first layer, we always go really thick. You're probably gonna put, the first layer, you're gonna put probably about five times more than, maybe 10 times more than you're gonna put the second layer because this thing's really gonna soak in there and then it's gonna, um. It's going to set, dry up, and harden, and fill in all those, fill in all those gaps. So on things like maple and stuff like that, you don't, um, you know, you don't have to worry because it's not an open pour kind of wood. And then you got to get back here. So as you can see, this thing is going to look really, really nice, and it's going to, it's going to gloss up the more, the more layers we put on. So just. Let me see. Let me see quick. Yeah, so you just want to just kind of go around in circles and just you're pushing it into the wood, yeah? And then when you get near the edge, you know, just kind of go thin because we don't want to push too much. We don't want to push any over and then have it get on that. So if you got some close to the edge. Yeah, so just put it in like this and just like I was telling my son, just you're going to kind of push it down in and then just kind of don't get it too thick near the edges. And then um, just kind of push that first layer in real good. And then this thing will kind of start drying. And then you'll, you'll be able to see like if there's any glue that kind of went over from the binding or anything like that. It's going to show all that in any kind of rough spots, any places that you've got to sand. So this thing was sanded really good. Man, that is going to look nice, Isaac. Yeah. 